Okay, so now how do we use that same thing um, to make something like this? We want to make sure that we are using some of our text frame options and just some, some things that are there. So first, let's we're going to do this. We're going to set this all the way up in the corner here. And we're going to bring this all the way down, make sure it just aligns. There we go. Um, and what I, want, what I want you to see is we're going to get our swatches. And the difference between filling this and this, right? If I click on that box, I fill um, the box itself. If I click on the T, right now I'm just changing the text color. So let's click on the box, make that, um, that color. Um, we're going to change the text to white. And then we're going to go to Command-B, and we're going to say, go down to the bottom, and there we go. And we're going to make sure that this is right up against it. And then we're going to also insert some spacing here. Right? Select these two things. And instead of having the outline be black, we're going to make that white. And I'm going to group it so I don't have to worry about grabbing both of them at the same time. And let's take this and duplicate this down lower and changing it to blue as well. Let's take this type. Let's justify it. Right, and there you have um, a really simple setup. This is all using one text box, right? So that's the idea within InDesign is, is how can we set something up with the least amount of effort um, but the most amount of flexibility.